With the release of version 16.05, the PLS CAD, PLS Poll, and Tower programs have added a new feature called Reference Manager. The Reference Manager allows you to attach any type of file and any number of files to your project. Some popular examples include design summary documents, poll inspection reports, manufacturer drawings, field pictures, easement and right-of-way documents, thermal rating reports, wire clearance reports, and so on. And any file that's added to the Reference Manager has the ability to be included in the backup file of your project. In this example PLSCAD project here, we've attached several example reference files of different file types to demonstrate the capabilities. To start, you'll find the Reference Manager by navigating to Lines, Reference Manager. And all of the same functionality you'll see shown in PLS CAD also exists in the structure programs PLS Pull and Tower by navigating to General Reference Manager. At first glance, you'll notice that this dialog is very similar to the Drafting Attachments Manager, only with a more limited set of options. You'll see there's a listing of different files, and you'll notice there's a mix of all different file types, PDFs, Excel spreadsheets, drawing files, Word documents, text files, etc. You have the two primary buttons, Attach and Detach, for adding and removing items to the Reference Manager. As the list of files gets populated, you may wish to change how the files are sorted, and you can do so by right-clicking on any file and dragging it up or down in the list to change the order. Also notice here you have a Table button to open up a table view of all the files referenced in the project. In this table view, you have an optional column to add miscellaneous notes to files to help others know what they are and what they're for. And you also have a column here for entering keywords. This keywords column can be a very useful and handy way to categorize and filter your reference manager list, particularly when the list of files becomes rather large. And just like in Framing Manager of PLS Poll, you can assign various keyword tags separating each tag by a comma. And there's also a pre-populated column on the far right here that records when the files were referenced to the project and by what user. After you've entered the desired notes and assigned tags, you can exit this table. And since we have some keyword tags added, now you'll be able to use this search field here. You can use it in one method like a drop-down list showing you all of the various keywords you've assigned to file references. If you select a keyword in the file list, it instantly filters down to just the references that include the keywords you selected. And also, just like the Framing Manager, you'll notice that the search is cumulative. So you can, for example, pick multiple keywords to progressively pare the list down. You can also then reset the search by clicking this button to get back to the full list. And another way you can use the search field is by just typing into it to filter the list of files by their names. So if, for example, you knew the file you were looking for had the word poll in it, you could just type in poll, and as you see, it filters the list down to only files that have the word poll in it. Another really nice feature to the Reference Manager is that you can use it to launch any of these files in it. Just double-click on any file you like, and Windows will start trying to open the file with whatever Windows default associated program is. So for example, like the file I just clicked on was a KMZ file, and it started opening the file in Google Earth. If I double tap on an image or PDF, it opens the Windows default program for that file type. The last feature to the Reference Manager is its ability to store reports from the programs. For example, if I run a structure check on this structure and generate the summary report, I can right-click inside it and choose the Save to Reference Manager option. I can give the file a different name if I'd like to and click OK. Now I can see in the Reference Manager the file has been saved and included in the list. I can double click on it and open it up and view it. I could add notes to it or keywords if I'd like to by clicking on the table button. And if I open a file browser and navigate to my project folder, I can see that PLSCAD created a new folder for references and added the text report to it. And lastly, notice that when I make a backup file for the project, I can select this option here if I want to include the reference files in the backup or not. We hope this video helps demonstrate the new capabilities of the Reference Manager, and we hope that you'll find it helpful in your projects. If you'd like more information about our software, please see our website at www.powerlinesystems.com or contact us at info at 
To receive a quote for purchase or renewal of your license, please contact sales at powline.com. And for any technical inquiries, please contact support at powline.com. Thank you for watching and your interest in our software, the industry standard in overhead line design.